Now to the latest on construction of the new Bob Hall Pier. Commissioners are set to meet tomorrow to approve a new contract that comes in under budget and with a build time of a little more than a year. Our Lexus Green shows us what all they cut. If you remember uh, at the last meeting we were the bid came in over budget. So between that time and this time we've been working diligently with the team. According to Nueces County Commissioner Brent Chesney, who oversees Precinct 5, the bid that will head to Commissioner's Court Tuesday now comes in under budget by nearly $77,000. That's with no changes to the structure's design or quality. We got a reduction, a significant reduction on the cost of steel. To get those costs down, Chesney says they did two things. They eliminated the NOAA platform, which the federal agency intended to use to monitor weather and ocean conditions. And they decided to construct a new concession instead of rehabbing the existing building. Now we're going to end up with a brand new building. The whole thing's going to be brand new, and that's going to save probably about a million dollars. Now back to the timeline. We sat down with Coastal Parks Director Scott Cross, who says after commissioners meet Tuesday, the county will give construction company Callan Marine a notice to proceed. Then they'll have 30 days after that to move in their equipment. They may be able to mobilize faster than that. It may take them a little longer. But it's important for people to know that when they mobilize, they're going to be setting up in an old area of Padre Bayi Park behind the dunes. The pier will take just over 15 months to build, and the construction company will face fines of $1,000 per day that it's late. All this means Bob Hall Pier should reopen by October 2025. Lexus Green, 3 News.